Hey, this is Matt Dunlap with RateWindow.com, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed my first tutorial on uh, making home tours using still images and some video editing software. Um, uh, again, I'm using Sony Vegas uh, Platinum, uh, the ninth edition, and I was just on Amazon, and I saw it's about 75 bucks at Amazon. And uh, it's it's a very powerful program, and it's going to let you do some really cool stuff. Um, this tutorial is going to be a little step further. The first tutorial I made was basically just simple panning and cropping and how to um, make transitions with um, still images from a home, from a you know a photo shoot at a home listing that you have, and turning that into a video. So this one is a little bit more fun. I'm not sure you're going to be using all of these you know filters, but um, I, I just want to show you how powerful uh, Sony uh, Vegas is. And uh, so basically, again, we, I've started out with this one image, and you're going to see that it's just a bathroom shot. Um, it, it's got a window view, and what I want to do is add some sun rays coming in through this window. And so to start with this, what we're going to do is we're just going to add the simple pan and crop again. So I'm going to go and I'm do the aspect ratio, which eliminates those sidebars. And now I'm at the I'm at the first keyframe, and I'm going to zoom it in, and I'm going to move it over. Actually, that's a little bit too. I want it to be big like that. And then I move to the very end to the last frame, and I add a, a keyframe, and I'm going to move it over. So basically, we're just going to pan it from left to right. Okay, so we got that. So now what I want to do is I'm going to add a lens flare coming in through this window to make it look like the sun. Um, uh, you can click. You can do this two ways. I can click on video effects, which shows me what video effect category, and then the actual preset for the video effect. Um, it's very easy. You just drag and drop. Or uh, if you click down here, right below the the pan and zoom, you've got the event effects, which shows all the plugins that you can use. Um, in this case, I'm just going to drag and drop. So I'm going to grab this 35 millimeter lens and drag it onto the image. And so you'll notice here that it's actually added it to the window. Um, it's a little bit low, so I'm going to move it up. I'm going to move it up to the, the corner. And again, this thing is panning across. Now, just like pan and, and zoom, we have a timeline down here. And so you're going to see here that what I want to do is I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it into that corner of the window. And as we move across, uh, the sun's going to move with the window. So I'm going to add at the very end. I'm going to move it over a little bit, just so that I can see the very end of it. Add a keyframe, and then I'm going to keep it over there in that uh, left-hand corner. So now when I move it, so now as we pan across, the, the sun is coming in. So we play the whole thing. So as you can see, it's a, it's a cool little effect. Not sure you're going to use it. Not sure the home seller is going to want you to be adding uh, you know, lens flares to the property. But um, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool little effect, especially makes it look a little bit more uh, unique. And uh, take it even a step further, we can chain these plugins together. So I'm going to, so I have lens flare added, and I can click on this, which is a plugin. Um, I can chain these together. So I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. Go OK. And you can see it's added a blur to the entire to the entire image, but I don't want that. I want it to blur in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to unblur it. So I've got no blur. Actually, no. I am going to blur it. My bad. And then I'm going to move in about a second, and then I'm going to add a keyframe. And I'm, now I'm going to unblur it So for the rest of the video now. So at this point, it's unblurred, and for the rest of the video, it's it's unblurred. So now, so there. So it gives a nice little transition like that. Now, what's really cool about these, uh, actually, before I do that, we're going to talk about um, something really cool here. And you're going to be able to use this not only for the video, but for um, a cool little intro. So let's get rid of all the plugins. I'm just going to click on this remove plugin, remove plugin. And I'm going to add this, uh, the intense light rays. And so you'll see here that it, it it's pretty intense. Um, of course, I can I can adjust it like this. But what's cool about this one is is that you don't really have to do a lot. It, it automatically will follow the pan and crop, and you see that the light's coming in. Of course, you're really not going to use this one for a home tour, but uh, it's a pretty cool um, little plug-in. What's really cool is you can take this one, and just drag that one on there, and that's going to basically use a mask and make it very intense. And again, as you move across, it's going to it's going to create a cool little background effect. And so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to apply some text over it. Um, I'm going to click on my Media Generator tab. Um, I'm on Text. And you can see here that we can add. These are different uh, media generators. I'm going to click on Text and put a simple uh, home tour here. So, so my home tour. And so basically, that's, that's it. And then, so I'm going to add some fades to it. 
actually move it in. So that's a, just a quick little way to make a cool little intro. Um, again, then what I can do is I can uh, I can click on this, um, apply a mask, so that now it's actually inside the text. You know, and and as you can see, it was just really simple. Just applying filters, you can really do a lot of cool stuff. Um, you know, I'm sure that now next time you watch a movie or so or any intro. Um, especially Home and Garden TV. I watch so much of that and I always watch how they make videos as they go through houses and you see a lot of this stuff that they do and it's just a lot of fun. So um, hopefully you learned a little bit. I, I know that this one's kind of off topic. You might not use all of it, but I wanted to show again that we've taken just some still images that you, you normally were just going to use in a gallery and now we're actually just making these really cool home tours with um, some cheap software and a little bit of time. So in the next one, um, I guess I'll add uh, some text to it so that you can describe the houses, maybe even put some sound and uh, you know sound voiceovers uh, on your video. So uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks. This is Matt Dunlap with RateWindow.com.